Okay, you've stuck around. Well done. This is the fun bit. This is where we get to send our marks to our students and they get to enjoy the fruits of their labours along with us. So, what we need to do is a mail merge. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a template email. So we're going to go to our inbox and we're going to compose a new message. Now we're not going to put anyone's address in the to line. Um, the, the program we're going to use in a minute will do that for us. All we have to do is type in dear and then we put in the dollar sign and the percentage sign. And we want to address this to their first name. So we go back and we have a look at what is their first name. Where is, where is the computer going to find their first name? Well, the computer is going to find their first name in the column entitled name space first. So we go back to our draft and we say name space first. And then we press the percentage key again. Now, once again in the subject, and you can make things different to this if you wish, but we'll just go along with this at the moment. Dear, and we'll do the same thing again. Dollar, percentage, name, space, first, uh, percentage sign. Your recent sack has been marked and your score was. Now, straight away we put in dollar sign, percentage sign. We want it to go and get the information for us. Where do we want to get the information from? Let's go back and have a look at our uh, spreadsheet. And we want to share their percentage with them. So we want to say, we want to tell the computer to look in SAC space one space percentage. We basically just want to write what's written there. So SAC one percentage. So let's go back and tell the computer where to look for their score. SAC one percentage and then the percent sign. If you have any queries, please do not hesitate to email or see me. Okay, it's very hard to type and talk at the same time. I'm a male. Okay, so we're happy with that. We're finished. What I'm going to do might seem a bit strange, but I'm actually going to close. And when I press on the X here, you see it says save and close? That's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to save this as a draft. So now I go back to my spreadsheet. And this is where I'm going to use a really cool little add-on. The add-on I'm going to use is called Yet Another Mail Merge. Now, if you haven't gone out and got that already, you'll need to go down to Get Add-ons. And it comes up with this search bar, and it comes up all the add-ons that are available. What you do is you type in Yet Another, and that's enough. And you can get Yet Another Mail Merge for your system. So I suggest you do that now um, and put me on pause until you're happy to go ahead. Okay, so assuming that you've got yet another mail merge, uh, we'll go to add-ons here and we'll start a mail merge. So this might take a minute or two just to work. And what they'll try and do is they'll try and sell you some more emails. Just ignore that. Just say that you just want to go along with the free version. Um, it lets you send 100 emails a day, so if you have two or three classes that you're marking each day, I wouldn't assume that you'd be doing any more marking than that, then the free version should be fine for you. So we'll skip that. Now the draft we want to use is the most recent draft that we've done, so that'll be on the top. So it's dear dollar sign percentage name first percentage. Now that's telling the computer to go into my email box and grab that draft email and use that for this mail merge. The sender name, I've just got Tim here, and then it's as simple as send the emails. Now because I'm sending it from this spreadsheet, the information in this spreadsheet will be used in that email. All emails have been sent. Press OK. 
and it gives me a merge status and it tells me that they've been sent. If there's a problem with any of the addresses, it would tell me no, it's not been sent. So what we're going to do now is we'll go to my inbox and we'll have a look and there we go. My name, my email address is right next to uh, Essie Messy. So it's said to me, Dear Essie, as the subject line, remember I did uh, dollar sign percentage uh, first name percentage, so it's, it's grabbed the first name for me and when I open it up, it says, Dear Essie, your recent sack has been marked and your score was 75. Uh, that's a really nice touch, um, particularly for our senior students, where we can give them regular and um, up-to-date and accurate information straight from our mark book without having to write any emails, particularly ourselves. You write the one draft email and it gets sent with specific information to 26 different students or 25 different students or however many you have. So I found that a really useful little add-on in um, Google Sheets and I hope it's useful for you. Once again, just rewind this video, pause it as often as you want, uh, turn the sound off if you're sick of my voice and just watch the screen. All good. I hope it was helpful.